Hi everybody, I'm Christopher Green, and I'm here to bring you this very special broadcast. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're watching Green Wave TV, alternative media television. Today I want to talk about government, the system of government, how it really is just an archaic institution. I mean, meant to keep the man down, meant to keep you, the little guy, from getting out of line. You know, throw a little breadcrumbs down to the peasants down there, little groundlings, see them fight over it. Make sure you pay your taxes, don't get out of line, don't really exercise your constitutional rights, that freedom of speech, or we might have to kill you. We'll guillotine your head right off. Uh, you know, it was a pretty cool invention that they had. Before, they just used to get a guy above you. He would take a uh, axe. Sometimes he would miss at the top of your skull. He would cut that clean off, and then they'd have to come down on you again. Uh, and then you'd see the eyes flicker, you know, a little bit as they looked and your head rolled uh, on the cobblestone street. Uh, maybe you were in France or somewhere, and you just took your last breath. <laughs> and that was it. Because you live and you die. Uh, but while you're here, the man wants to keep you down. Keep you his bitch. Again, keep paying your taxes. Don't get out of line. Do what you're supposed to do. Work for the man. Go to school. Uh, get your kids in school. Elementary school, preschool, high school, college. Don't learn a darn thing. Uh, get out so you can sit in a cubicle and work for the man again. Uh, put half the pockets and put the money in the pocketbooks of the same banksters that have raped us and ripped us off uh, on a continuous basis really throughout history uh, because that's how it works. Kings and queens in power today. Take a look at the Clintonistas, Hillary Bill Clinton. Take a look at the Obama noids representing the handlers behind the scene that really run the show. Take a look at Richard Nixon. Take a look at the Romneys. George Romney was a player back in the days of the 1970s with Nixon before his son uh, competed and failed because he's too much of an aristocrat, at least perceived by the American public. For some reason, they think Obama is an aristocrat because he calls himself a Democrat. Get that head out of your ass. Democrats, as my grandfather always used to say, because that's what they want to do. They want to tax you, infinity, pad their own pockets while pretending to be the little guy like you. Which brings us back to the system of government. Why do we even need government anymore? Why is that even uh, something that we need? People say, oh, well, Christopher, we need roads. We need, uh, you know, highways. Who's going to clean up the trash? Well, why don't we just give that to the state? Why don't we let the state handle that? Why don't we let the state decide whether or not we can bear arms? So, uh, ultimately, the people, because it's the people that uh, hire basically the representatives, of course, we've forgotten that. And the left thinks it's all propaganda. I put out a video yesterday on the Gaza. People are like, hey, Chris, stop sending me this propaganda material. Obviously, these are the Democrats themselves. The Obamanoids that voted for President Barack Obama somehow think it's propaganda. They think it's a lie and propaganda that during Benghazi and the Benghazi fallout, President Barack Obama has been arming Syrian opposition terrorist groups, Al-Qaeda, the LIFG, Abdul Hakim bel Hajj. They think that that is somehow a fabrication. They think the IRS scandal is a fabrication, the wiretapping, the Associated Press, similar to what we saw with Nixon's downfall Watergate. Deep throat. You remember Deep throat? Uh, he was the guy that blew the whistle. He was the whistleblower. We've seen the testimony come out in Baghazi here in recent days. But why, again, do we need government? Why is it even relevant? I got computers over here. I got the internet. I got technology. In fact, I can even domicile my company outside the United States. Why do we even need government? I don't need your roads. I don't need your bridges. I don't need your trash. I don't, more importantly, need your debt. I don't need $17 trillion worth of debt. I could care less about that. In fact, Obama, you go sleep on that. Put that and pad that on your pillow. You figure out how to pay it off. We cut your pensions. You know, all my friends, my firefighter buddies, the teachers, all the people that work for the government don't think that this can happen to them. They're like, well, you know, Obama's okay. You know, I voted for him twice. I think he's a good guy. You know, he's going to legalize the gays. Isn't that a good thing? Because they care about the social issues, but really what they do care about ultimately is themselves. So once it begins to attack themselves, when they realize that their pensions are cut in half, that they're dying overseas and fighting in wars like Iraq and Afghanistan, their children are asked to die for uh, the erroneous thought process that somehow the U.S. dollar reserve currency deserves to be the world reserve currency anymore, even though we economically bankrupted ourselves into infinity. People like Ben Bernanke, the Timothy Geithners of the world, the rats leaving the nest right now, getting out of Washington right before the ship sails into the iceberg. And crashes like the Titanic. The big question is, why do we need the old, archaic, fashioned paradigm of government in general? Why can't we just govern ourselves? Why can't we govern ourselves through technology? Take a look at the companies like Mega Upload, for instance, that are transforming the internet today. Take a look at the PirateBay.se that keep changing those domain names, keep giving out pirated software to free to the masses around the world, can't shut them down. Take a look at WikiLeaks, getting the truth out about the United States government, and them attacking and killing people and innocent civilians in Iraq. You just can't stop this shit. So the question begs, why do we need 
government. They're not doing a good job anyways. They're bankrupting us anyways. Nothing good's coming from it. We know they're criminals. We know who these people are. We know who you are. You're just who we thought you were. And so the question you should be asking yourself is why do we even need government? I'm Christopher Green. You've been watching Greenwave TV, alternative media television. Please subscribe to us on YouTube at CGreen34. Follow us on Facebook at Greenwave TV, at Twitter at Greenwave, and get it out to the viewing public. Hard hitting and in your face.